everybody, it's Sonya Lene, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited because it is Married Life Monday. What's up, guys? We have a good, good, good subject today, okay? I'm so excited to read it to y'all because I'm going to need y'all help. Okay, I don't know if I can tackle this one by myself. <laughs> All right. Anyway, it is a su subscriber suggested topic. Okay, from Lynn. Okay, she said I can use her first name and not her last name. Her first name is Lynn. Okay, so Miss Lynn, we're going to try to help you out here, honey. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go right in. Well, I got my popcorn. And y'all know we minding our business around here, okay? So don't ask me what's in my glass. I won't ask you what's in yours. But everybody needs to have a glass. You're going to need a glass for this one. All right? Anyway, let's get started. The title of the email is My Family May Be Broken. All right? Hey, Miss Sonia. My name is Lynn, and I don't mind using my, I don't mind you using my name. I truly feel like you are one of the good guys. Your YouTube channel is Purpose by God to save marriages. I know you're not a professional, but I've been watching Mary Life Monday for months and you have made me see some things about myself and my husband. Thank you. Listen, when you know how to start off an email like that, I'll continue to read. It's a little lengthy. It's not, it ain't that long. All right, anyway, now the reason for this email is to tell you about the current state of my relationship. I've been with my husband for over eight years and we have three children. For the first five years of our marriage, I had so much fun. My man has shown me things I have never seen before. The way he looked at me just let me know that I was loved. Now these past three years have not been horrible, but we have not been speaking much and maybe have sex every two months and holidays. Okay. He works hard, pays the bills, and me and my children need or want for nothing. He just seems to not be interested in our family communication. I don't think he's cheating because he comes straight home from work every day. I'm so confused. I just don't know what to think. I just want to know what you think about this situation. Should I just stay and deal with it because of the financial security or... Should I just walk? Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. I'm not in the business of telling people to leave their marriages. It's not what I do, okay? Oh, but I don't know. Um... Dang, like, okay, financial security, kids, wife, everybody's taken care of, but it ain't no, commu I, I can't, I can't live with nobody I can't communicate with. Um, Miss Lynn, have you tried, like, really sitting your husband down, telling him how you feel, Telling him that, okay, so a lot of times when you, when your husband, or anyway, if you're, when your significant other, I'm going to just put that, because it, it could be on any side. It could be on the wife's side or the husband's side. When they don't want to lose you, a lot of times people get comfortable, they get busy, they get, you know, they just get comfortable with their life going a certain way, okay? It's unfortunate that he has scheduled his days the way he has and just left you and your children out of it it seems to me like he wake up in the morning he go to work he come home maybe eat dinner he go to bed he get up the next day and do it all over again from what you you say he come home from work on time every day so he got a schedule, and you're not in it. That's a problem. You need to sit your husband down, have that conversation, and you need to be honest with him and let him know that you're thinking about leaving him. 
Because a lot of times people don't see it the way you see it. He probably at home thinking everything is good. Everybody taken care of. Everybody happy. Ain't nobody complaining. Nobody crying. Kids is good. What He think, he in his mind, because a lot of men don't really just go overboard when it comes to thinking. That's what we do as women. That's what we do. Uh, he probably thinking everything okay, especially if you ain't said nothing. Now, when it comes to the whole sex thing, y'all having sex twice, uh, uh, every two months, you said? Every two months and holidays? Um, that's partially on YouTube. Uh, if he ain't touching you, you need to be touching him. Now, you say you don't think he's cheating because he come home from work every day. Uh, that's not a reason to not think he's cheating. Uh, men cheat on their jobs all the time. I'm not saying your husband is cheating. I'm just letting, I, I just want you to see it from all angles, okay? Men cheat on their jobs all the time. Honey, fix him lunch, go up to that job and see if he's smiling. Because if he ain't smiling when he at home with you, and he's smiling up at that job, you need to look at the secretary, the front desk clerk, uh, whoever else is working, just, just, just trying to figure out who he's smiling at. Because it ain't you. Okay? I really can't tell you to walk. I can't tell you to leave your marriage. But what I will tell you is, do everything in your power to make it work on your end. And then after you do that and, st and things still don't get better, walk, mama. Because you will always be wanting more. I don't sacrifice my happiness for nobody. I love my husband. He makes me happy. But if at any time we go long periods of time without speaking to each other, we ain't talking and he not interested in talking to me, he's not interested in spending time with my children, then you're a single parent. Sound like a single parent to me. So, hold on, let me, let me make sure I ain't missing nothing. And thank you so much for saying that I'm one of the good guys because I really do want my channel to uplift people. And y'all know I love Married Life Monday. It is my passion. Now, I do mukbangs on my channel because I love those too, but Married Life Monday is my baby. I created it. Ain't nobody else doing it but me. This is what I love, okay? So, let, let, let me just make sure. Now, you did say... Y'all been together for eight years. When y'all, you said the first five years, he showed you things you never seen before. He made you feel love. He looked at you in your eyes. He, all of that. And you think that just changes over time? Like, like, like he don't look at you no more. He don't say nothing to you. He don't want to take you out no more. Mama, let me ask you this. What you looking like? Are you looking good enough to go out? When he come home, do you have a bonnet on your head and some slippers and some big old pajamas? I mean, I'm, I'm just asking because I want to know if you doing everything in your power. And I am not turning this on you because I, I, I don't believe in that. But as married people, as husbands and wives, what we have to make sure both parties are doing what we need to do on our end. Okay, if the man come home from work, if he at work thinking, oh, I'm going to go home and take my wife out to dinner, da-da-da-da-da, then he come home and you got on your bonnet and your house shoes, then he can't really take you out, can he? Hmm? Honey, how often do you make up your face, do your hair, put on some nice clothes? You know, if he not seeing... What he saw in those first five years, that's probably why you're not getting what you got in those first five years. And again, I'm not turning this around on you. Because if he feels that way, then he need to communicate with you about what he wants to change in his marriage as well. Okay? So, my advice to you. Set up a little dinner. Get a babysitter. You're going to need a babysitter. You're going to need a babysitter, mama, because you ain't had sex in a while, okay? This may lead to sex. Let me help you out. Uh, get a babysitter. Either fix him dinner or let him know y'all going out to dinner, okay? 
you might want to fix some dinner because y'all need to have a conversation. One that may not need to be had in public. Okay. Um. And then you tell them how you feel. Tell them how much you love them. Don't now. Don't lead with how you feel. <laughs> Do them like you did me, honey. You sent me an email. You told me all the good things about myself before you went in to tell me what's going on. So do him like that. Tell him how much you love him. How much you appreciate him being a provider. How much you appreciate him taking care of the children. And da 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 da, da. Anything else you want to tell him, honey, how good he looks, how you like his haircut. Do what you need to do, okay? And then... You need to let them know that you've been feeling a little neglected and unappreciated lately. Sorry, y'all. That's my phone. You need to let him know that you have not been feeling like a wife lately. you just been feeling like a roommate. Um, ask him if there's anything you've done to make that change. And if so, what? And see if you guys can just come come to some type of agreement on how you're going to move forward. Now, if he seemed disinterested in that conversation, mom, you're going to have to pack your bags because it's somebody at the job. It's somebody at the job. Somebody at the job is making him, you know, think about them all day his attention is not on you his attention is not on your children his attention is not on the home it's on the job <laughs> you say he come home from work every day on time somebody at work you know if that doesn't work if 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 you having a conversation with him don't work he's somebody at the job y'all now to all of my nanas that's watching this I need y'all to drop down in those comments and let's help our sister out. I know some of y'all done been through some stuff just like me. We all, especially the married folk. We done been through some stuff and we done came out of some stuff. And we done, you know, marriages have been strengthened. We done been to counseling. Maybe y'all need to go to counseling. Um, ask him, you know, do you mind going to counseling? Like do everything that you can, every single thing that you can to make your marriage work. And then after you've done all you can, then you make a decision whether you're going to stay for the financial security or walk. Cause right now I don't think you need to be thinking about leaving. I, I think you need to be thinking about, you know, trying to figure out what's going to make it work. Because he could be thinking a way about you and you thinking a way about him. And neither one of y'all are, are communicating what you're feeling. So your marriage could definitely work. I'm, 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 I'm very hopeful. Excuse me, that it will work. I'm very... I don't know. I, I want your marriage to work, Lynn. I want it to work. I really, really hope that I've helped you. Um, I don't know what else to say. You wanted me to, to to just speak about what I think about the situation. And I personally think that there needs to be some communication. Hands down, all the funny stuff is out. Yes, I think if uh, he still seems uninterested in whatever you're talking about, that there may be somebody on that job. I do. But all jokes aside... Talk to your husband. Talk to your man and tell him how you feel. Speak, I mean, like, like literally share your heart with him. Because he needs to hear how you feel. And you need to be honest and let him know that you have been thinking about leaving him. Because he may not think that it's as serious. Especially if you've been talking to him just like, hey, I feel like we need to talk. I feel like we need to go out. I feel like we don't do what we used to do. Da, 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 and he still ain't listening. You need to make it very clear that you are thinking about leaving. And if he tell you to leave, baby, leave. Leave. Shed your tears. 
Get up, take care of your children, and move forward. Because guess what? If he ain't for you, somebody is. But you need to be careful how you choose your man, you know, from this day forward. That's all I'm saying. All right, y'all. This is done, Miss Lynn. I hope I have helped you. And to all of my nannies out there, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are not new to the channel, welcome back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn your post notifications on so that you will know every time I upload a video. And share this video, y'all. Share it with everybody. And until next time, guys, bye. Oh yeah, I wanted to come back and say this. If you have a topic suggestion for me, please email me. It's in the my email is in the description box. Please email me. Let me know in the email if you wouldn't wouldn't mind me using your name or a different name, okay? All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs>